Here's what's happening only on two, baby bruised. One father is pointing the finger at a Houston area daycare. My son's arm was squeezed until there was a mark and he can't speak to us because he's only eight months old. Tonight, what we're learning about the investigation and about the daycare's past. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Bill Baeza. And I'm Sarah Donchi in for Dominique tonight. That father claims when he picked up his son from the Bibbs and Cribs daycare on Jones Road, the baby had a bruise on his arm that wasn't there before. Our Brandon Walker joining us live now with what he has learned about this case. Brandon? And Bill and Sarah, complaints filed against child care facilities are not uncommon, in fact. But in this case, the family we spoke to tell us that their bruising on their kids speaks for itself. The bruising, they say, still there some three days after the fact. Hi. Eight-month-old Jeremiah is his parents' pride and joy. He looking around like, see my mommy, see my mommy. Yeah. So it's not hard to see why they were concerned. There's a scratch here from the fingernail. When they say they picked Jeremiah up from Bibbs and Cribs Daycare Tuesday, only to find something wasn't right. She uh, routinely went home to take his clothes off to bathe them, and she noticed that there were bruises on his arm. They snapped these pictures, and the next day saw Jeremiah's pediatrician. The doctor said that she observed that there were bruises on his arm and that they appeared to be fingerprints. And from there, they contacted CPS. The agency tells Channel 2 it is investigating the matter. We looked into prior CPS investigations at Bibbs and Cribs, including one similar to Jeremiah's case from October of last year. It alleges someone grabbed a child by the arm. CPS did not find a violation in that case or most of the other complaints filed against Bibbs and Cribs. But the Anthony Valian says the bruising on Jeremiah speaks for itself, especially since Jeremiah can't do the same. And I encourage parents that do have kids who can speak to, you know, question them every day about their days and let them know that they won't be in trouble at home for speaking on things that happened to them that day. And Jeremiah now attends another daycare facility not too far from here. In fact, today was his second day there. Meantime, we can tell you that a representative from CPS was here at the daycare center today, but the agency couldn't go into any details about what they're looking into, only saying that their investigation is ongoing. We also tried to speak to a representative at the daycare center who would only say that the allegations are not true. In Jersey Village, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.